to Last Looks, my name is Carly Ferris and today I have a video for you guys that I think is going to be quite fun. Um, I am going to do a wig transformation video. Um, I have decided to buy a pretty cheap, like costumey, cosplay -y wig on Amazon and see if I can cut it into and style it into a nice wearable summer shag. So. Without further ado, so I don't ramble on and on and on, let's get going with it. So this is where my wig is going to be, and let me show it to you. It's gonna go bright again. Oh, no it didn't. So this wig is a nice gingery orange color, which I thought was, oh, I haven't even cut the tag out, which I thought would be really nice and fun for summer. While I love black hair and my collection of black hair grows larger at an accelerating rate continuously, I can't stop buying myself more black hair. I thought it would be nice in the summer to have like a lighter, more summery color option. So this is our wig. She's got some bangs. It is not a lace front wig because there are bangs and I'm going to keep the bangs so I figured that was fine. My favorite color of hair other than black hair is like a gingery orange hair. So here she is. Let me shove her in this head and then I will start sectioning. There we go. And now I'm gonna give her a good brush out. I don't know where my good brush is. So that is going to be a huge problem for this process. Uh, I usually have a wet brush. That's what I brush out wigs with. I need to tighten this. <laughs> but, um, I can't find it. Um, also, I dropped it in a cup of acetone when I was doing my nails and uh, it started to melt it. So I really do need to get a new wet brush. I don't feel like I need to explain this, but I do feel like I haven't talked about this. Um, I wear wigs because one, I think that they're fun and I like to have options and I know lots of people do, but also because right now I'm going through like a hair health journey situation and um I just have not been wearing my real hair because I've just been doing nice things with my real hair also training it to not be washed so often so this this is a wig but my real hair is black underneath there in case this is the first video you're watching of me hi hello my hair was very damaged before and now it is not so damaged because I don't really wear it out that much I just kind of wear wigs all the time See, this is the color I want. <laughs> I've been, the reason I'm doing this is because I've been getting the bug, the orange hair bug. And I've been telling the people in my life, like I told my boyfriend, I was like, all it would take is like a color remover on my black hair. And he was like, Carly? I was like, I know, I don't wanna damage my real hair. Anyway, so this cut will be similar to, if you guys have been around for a while, my one like viral video is me cutting my hair into like a shag mullet thing. This cut will be a similar cut to that except now I sort of know what I'm doing more because I have continued to give my hair that cut as it grows out over and over again. So this will just be like that from scratch. So maybe if you're cutting like a shag mullet watching me cut this wig could help you because this is like an almost from scratch like this wig has no layers at all whatsoever. All of the length is the same so this might help you do that. Um, it's nice and thick and the hair quality feels nice. So I hope that this can be like a, not an everyday wear, but like a multiple wear, keep it around. It's an option type of situation. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to section off the bangs section. Now, obviously the bangs are part of the bangs section, but I, since I'm doing like a shag mullet thing, I want the bangs to be more prevalent. I really put this in the wrong place. This, uh, this guy. The bangs start like here. I'm gonna pull the bangs back to like middle of the head situation. And also I'm gonna go much wider than where they are right now. Cause I think that's fun. So, See where it is now? Much more than it was before. Come back up. Oh God. I am just going to put this back away for now because I'm just gonna start with the bangs. 
because I find that easier. Now that I have sectioned off my bang pieces, I'm going to section them in half and then put them away, like put the top half away. What is happening to me? I'm being so weird on my chair because I didn't want to stand, but that's okay. All right. And this helps because like, I need to mess with like the pre-put bangs sort of first and like blend them all in before I take the pieces I'm going to. I'm not making any sense. Just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> take whatever I do ever as a tutorial at your own risk because I never claim to know anything. And if I did claim to know anything, know that now I'm not claiming to know anything. So I am going to split these down the middle. Now, if you would like to see me do this on my own face, this is, I'm just going to start by cutting like some curtain bangs. Um, if you'd like to see me do this on my own face, I do have a recent video. Maybe I'll put it in the description. Maybe I won't. It'll be a surprise, but I'm going to split these down the middle. And then I'm going to take them, this half of the bangs, it's split down the middle now. This is the middle. Um, and I'm going to over direct them this way. So let me stand up on my chair. I will brush these all together. Brush them that way. And then I'm just gonna start chunking off hair like this. And then when you bring it back, this side of the bangs are longer than the middle. And then I can sort of keep doing that and like clean it up a little bit where it did like the choppy choppy chop, like here. There we go. Now we've got some beveling. Beveling is a word I just learned. Now I'm gonna do the same with this side. there. You might not think that that's going to be cute now, but it totally is. Also, I think I made that side a little bit thicker, so let me take this out of the scrunchie and go like, boop. Ha ha! See? Now they match. Ooh, the texture of this wig is already making this look really nice. And now, before I move on to the next, I am going to, these are so blunt, I am going to give these a little bit of like layeriness and wispiness before I even move on to the top layer. And to do that, I need a comb. Hello? You guys ever get like eight combs for a dollar and they look like this? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take like sections of these bangs and then over direct them up like a rooster. You can't even see that, but you can imagine. Up. And then I'm just gonna chop them. Point cutting, not regular cutting because uh, we don't want any blunt lines. So you see now that has already made that like nice and layered and wispy instead of like straight down. I'm just gonna keep doing that. I also am dry cutting this instead of spritzing it and cutting it because it is synthetic hair and getting synthetic hair wet is kind of a fucking nightmare so all right and then basically from here I'm just gonna point cut some of the funky bits and not really worry so see this, this is a funky bit
There we go. That's pretty cute, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the top layer of the things. Now we have these pieces, which have apparently I already cut the middle part of this, but that's okay. That's okay. Just helps us know which pieces are which. I'm just gonna come over here and chop them. Over directing and chop, chop, chop. See how I get longer? See how it gets longer? Now let's do some layering on the top like I did with those other ones. Here are those shaggy, shaggy bangs. Looking nice, looking not matchy. This, these need more layers. These need more layers. I just abandoned my comb. Abandon all combs, ye who enter here. There we go. There's some of that choppiness I was looking for to match on this side. Kind of looks like Alice Cullen, ginger Alice Cullen right now. With some curls, I think that's gonna look one wonderful. I'm so hot right now. The sky is thundering. Okay, moving on. Guess what we're going to do to the back? Pretty much the same process, just without the curtain curtain banging. <laughs> I'm going to separate the bottom from the top because I don't want to take off any of the length. I'm leaving quite a bit. I want to make sure that there's enough hair at the bottom that like all the tracks are covered, like that. I'm doing the same on this side. And in the back, and then I'm going to clip this out of the way like I did before and then put this bottom layer in our scrunchie. Start taking hair over directing it up and creating layers all the way around the head. And most of, for most of these, I'm just gonna start by like losing a lot of length because holy shit, we do not need that much. There we go. There we go. Now we have like nice layers and beveled ends. Eh? Eh? There we go. That's cute. I have ginger hair all over me. There we go. How's that? Lovely. I'm basically gonna do the same thing to all of this hair and then I will be right back. You guys, I just thought I was recording for like 20 whole minutes and I wasn't. <laughs> so let me show you what the wig looks like. It's looking really cute. So here she is, it's looking really nice, and I'll just tell you what I did, basically. Oh my god, I'm so bummed. So basically, this started out, when I took it down, it looked like a bob, and then long extensions. So what I did, and I shit you not, is I just took, this one still needs a little bit. See how, okay, I can show you here. See how this looks like a shelf above this? Basically what I did was I took the long pieces and the short pieces together, and then I just, ran my scissors down like this. And I think something I talked a lot about was this 
can be quite a damaging technique if you do it to your real hair. Look how nice. But since this is synthetic hair, I am not really that worried about damaging it. Um, also, you can do this with a razor, but last time I used a razor on a synthetic wig, it really dulled it, and then I had to get a new one. Uh, and I have a different pair of shears for synthetic hair. So basically, I also wanted to say that um, careful using your real tools on synthetic hair because it can dull them. So if you ever wanted to do a project that like is hair cutting that you can do with fabric scissors, or not fabric scissors, don't use your fabric scissors on not fabric, but you can do with craft scissors, uh, you can use your craft scissors on synthetic hair because it will dull your tools and it doesn't get like split ends like human hair does. Anyway, so basically what I did was this technique all over the whole thing. And that really blends like the top shelf with the bottom shelf, with the bottom like length. And I just wanted to take a lot of thickness off of this bottom layer so that we have like nice big and layered on top and then it goes down to thinner at the bottom. Um, and basically, it's good that I noticed that I wasn't filming now because I'm about to do the same thing on the top to make sure that we have some short layers up top. And then that will be the final thing that we do to cut this wig and then I'm going to style it. So that's really exciting. Um, so you see how like these layers are still like as long as that first shelf we created. I want to take them and sort of run my scissors down like this to make sure that we have some short short layers like that going on. Because when we like curl it up, it will really help. So see, this is all almost as long as our initial first layer. Basically what I did was I created one big short, so it was like short, long, and now I'm blending it. But it's good to make the first sort of cut like that because you, that like helps you create the structure. I don't know, I'm not a fucking hairdresser, but you guys get it. And then this, oh my God, it's just so fun to just cut hair with reckless abandon when there is not super high stakes, right? Look at those nice little layers we're creating. You can, to see if you're doing it right, you can pinch the hair and if it stays, you are creating nice short little layers that can be styled nicely. You especially want to do this in the back or else the back of your head will look like very wiggy. So like, you see how all this is the same? I want to get into the length in here and like make sure that we have short layers on the top so that the back of the head has like some bend into the back of the neck and it just doesn't look like a, I don't know, curtain back here. Also this cut is really like making the like factory curling on this wig really cute. Now I can start to, now that it's got layers, like zhuzh into it and it will start to create this like nice shape. And also once I zhuzh into it, I can notice that this piece is probably a bit too long because it's not, see how this side is zhuzhing, this side is not zhuzhing. I will go in and create some layers that can zhuzh up. <gasps> zhuzhing and zhuzhing. Cute, right? So cute, oh my goodness. All right. I believe that the cutting portion of this hair wig tutorial is done. Now I'm going to get into styling this wig. Let me stand up and show you myself while I set up this whole heat tool situation. Ugh, yeah, I better clean up the hair first. Oh God. Oh my God, I look like I work in a groomer's. And I've got like a nice, I don't know, ginger dog in. Oh, look. That is a mess. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so. Shit, motherfucker. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything is fine. Are you going to stay? I swear to God. All right. Time for us to get styled. Can you guys tell this is the same size as my head? That's why it looks gigantic. As I have discussed before, this wig 
came with a very, very beautiful factory curl. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a lot of work to the bottom of this wig, because I think I'm just gonna leave this nice factory curl on the bottom. However, the top, because of it's just straighter and also a little bit of shoddy worksmanship on the cut on my part, we are going to style the top a bit. Um, and I think I'm going to bring it down so that you guys can see it a bit better. Um, we're gonna style the bangs and we are going to style like these top layers. And I thought about doing this with steam, but that feels exhausting to me. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite, slightly lazier way to style synthetic wigs. And what you will need is curl clips or rollers or something to that effect. I prefer to do a clip because it's like, you can do all the things that you can do with rollers with a clip um, and it's not huge and it's not expensive. Uh, and a straightener, actually. So I find that no matter how hard you try, you cannot really curl wigs with a curler, like put them in the curling iron and take them away like you would try to do with, um, with what? Uh, like your real hair. Um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Uh, what synthetic hair needs is to be heated up, put in a, put in a style and then left to cool. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of hair, heat it up with the curler or with the straightener, put it in like a pin curl and then leave it to cool for a while. Okay, for setting, basically, I think I'm just gonna curl all of the curls in a downward formation. So like this way, instead of this way. And for these, this way, instead of this way. I might make these go backwards, but I doubt it. Just because I think that'll give us like a really nice shaggy 70s look. I don't want them, I want this to remain bangs, so I don't wanna do the Farrah Fawcett thing where it's like, you know what I mean? I'm getting a tripod now. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do on the top layer so that I can turn the camera off, take my wig off, get a drink, and then just finish styling this off camera. Okay, so I'm gonna take the straightener Straighten this piece all the way down. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get it all hot and then wrap it around my two fingers. Drop my clip. And then pin the curl down to the head like that. There we go. And then I'm going to do that to sort of the whole top layer and then like I said leave these nice factory curls on the bottom and I will be right back hello 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 so I have given these a moment to cool down chill out chill off a little bit and um with synthetic hair there it's not going to take very long to cool down I just took it like I gave it a by I gave it a moment I mean I like called my boyfriend and talked for like a minute um, I decided not to work with the factory curl actually because um, I didn't want it to not match and I got a little bit carried away. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these out and we are going to see how they go. So some of them are already falling. So let's just see. See, we already have a nice curl going here. There we go. It is true that the longer you leave these in, like the more curly they will be, but I don't want these to be like super duper, duper curly. Cause I want it to be like a, like a brushed out blowout type of look. So here we are, taking them out, taking them out. That's looking really nice, I think. Starting to look really cute. Getting up to like front pieces and top pieces. Oh, I love that. Let's brush out our bangs. Oh, they're very, very funky. Very funky, but I can do a finishing, finishing touch up on them in a moment. 
and I will show you what to do if they end up super funky, but not too bad. And then basically I'm just gonna brush through all these curls I just created so that they are like nice and smooth and go together like that. So here we go. Hello, I don't know where I'm gonna stick this part, but I redid the bangs, so uh, they look like shit. So, um, or they looked like shit when I first took out the rollers. So I did a few more sections and we're just gonna see how they turn out. I already like that one better. Please, for the love of God, can we like do this correctly? Cause here's the thing, I know how to style this type of bang, right? But I know how to do it like on, I don't know, hair that's growing out of a scalp. So this, like, I forgot that this is like, since it's on a track, it will be more difficult. There we go. That is starting to look like nice and right. Yeah. There we go, baby. That is exactly what I wanted. We're bangs that look like that. Where's my, where's my brushy? Shaggy, baby. Ooh, ah, yes. Thick, shaggy, mullety bangs. And you can part them in the middle or you don't have to. That is exactly what I wanted. All right, y'all, here is the finished product. I am going to put on an outfit, uh, put on a lip and put on this hair and I will be right back with the final Reveal. Ha ha! All right, y'all. This is the final result of my cutting and styling a Amazon sort of costumey wig into a sort of everyday wearable uh, 70s mullet shag thing. Um, if you guys were not here for my mullet or shag video, this is sort of like another tutorial on how you can do it. Uh, I definitely love it. I think that like if I didn't have black hair, I think that a natural auburn red color looks really nice on me. Um, I think that it like I'm very glad to have this this option now and I love the cut. I'm thinking of maybe cutting my everyday wig like this uh, because it's just so nice. It's so flattering. Um, Anyway, uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, just hanging out with me today and having fun and chopping up this wig. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to like it down below. And if you'd like to see more of me, uh, please make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. Uh, we have fun and we uh, ensue chaos constantly. All right, I will see y'all next Monday. Bye.